Hello wonderful person and welcome back to another live robot dive on the Great Barrier Reef. So the robot's been out of the water for the last uh, couple of weeks because of some severe weather. We're currently uh, looking at another location that will enable us to uh, keep the robot out there pretty much uh, all year round. Uh, but we're just waiting for uh, communications to be installed on that island. So in the meantime, um, the robot's going to be out there for at least a week, uh, probably even longer. The weather's looking pretty good, and so I thought I'd take us for a, a live dive. Now there has been an update to the control software. See the screen is a little bit different. Uh, just quickly running through some of the new features. Um, so first of all, uh, the keyboard controls are now on the left hand side. And uh, when you push the key down, it'll light up, so that'll show you which keys you're pressing, and also a handy little reminder if you forget the controls. Also over here now, we have the start and disarm button. Uh, manual and stabilize mode, you keep it in stabilized uh, the entire time. And a new one, which is low speed and high speed, which is really handy once you get in close to the reef and you wanna just look at something, uh, you change it to low speed, it slows you right down and enables you to have finer control. Um, and then uh, just on the top here, uh, just quickly running through these, you've got a map of where the robot is currently on Arlington Reef. I'll just zoom out for you on this big reef here. Uh, keyboard controls, uh, taking a photo with this button, and we have a photo competition now. So the best uh, top three photos every month uh, win free credits. So take lots of pictures and if yours is the best one in the month, uh, we'll deposit some free credits into your account. And uh, this one here is just a console which is showing information coming straight from the robot just for uh, more advanced users. All right, let's get started. So we click the start button. We're facing in a westerly direction, which means we have to head east uh, to get lots of tether. And let's go, tilt the camera down and spin around so we're pointing in an easterly direction. There we go. All right, let's see what we can find. Looks like there's a coral bombing just below us here. As we come on down, it'll come into view. The tide has just turned, um, so not too much current, but the water is a little bit murky. All right, let's head along this reef, see what animals are there today. Looks like we got some schooling fish. Uh, on top of the reef, so I'm just heading up there now. I'm just going to turn it to low speed just so we can uh, go and play with these fishies for a second. Looks like mainly uh, damselfish which is schooling on top of the reef here today. Oh, there's a few um, chromis in there as well. Looking up at the waves, it's, uh, yeah, there's a few waves today. Uh, the weather gets a lot better tomorrow. Lots of fishies hanging around on the top of the reef. Back to high speed mode, and we'll uh, we'll go for a little bit of an explore. So we're 
we're on the edge of the reef here. Yeah, we'll just go along the edge of the reef and see what we can find. More fishies here. Wow. Trying to slide sideways. These larger fish are parrotfish. And it uh, looks like they're eating the coral, but they're not. What they're doing is they're scraping off the algae that's growing on dead coral. Uh, very important to remove that algae so coral can regrow in that area. speed let's go for a bit of a drive so we're up on top of the reef now a depth of just under three meters So this is typical of what uh, a snorkeler would see if they were snorkeling on the reef. I think we'll head across this rubble here and see what's on the other side. A little bit slow going because we're heading straight into the current at the moment. Lots of fish life. Although this area doesn't have a lot of coral to it. But there's plenty of fish. We've gone down a little bit deeper now, eight meters. So this is more typical of a scuba diver. And, uh, oh, this is pretty cool. So we'll just go to low speed again. Um, so there's a whole heap of, uh, what do we call these, yellow stripies. Uh, they've got a few different names. Uh, just hanging out in this staghorn coral right here. Really pretty. I'll, um, I'll just get down a little bit lower and we'll take a picture. Look at that. All right, taking a picture. So that'll go on the gallery and uh, enter into the competition. But uh, yeah, look at this. Lots and lots of yellow stripy fish. This is awesome. Hiding away in this staghorn coral. Very, very cool. I'll just slowly go around it. This is where the, the low speed mode really comes uh, into play and is really useful. So when you found something you really want to get a good look at, go into low speed mode, and then you can just very slowly make your way closer or around the object and get a good view of what's going on. Very, very cool. So many fish in this one little patch of coral. 
this is staghorn coral, one of the fastest growing corals. It grows about 10 to 15 centimeters in length per year. Uh, so this particular patch, you know, might only be uh, five, six years old. But it's very, very healthy. It's got the beautiful uh, blue zooxanthellae algae in it, so it's quite iridescent blue tips to it. And uh, obviously a favorite spot for all these yellow stripies here. Very nice. So ladies and gentlemen, I think that's a great place to end with some beautiful fishies. I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the live robot dive today. Of course, if you want to control this robot, you can. Uh, just head over to the website, teleport.fish, and buy some credits. You can do that for as little as $10, and you can drive this robot today. All right, I, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you next time.